Warriors in the Summer League, the most important storylines in Las Vegas. The Golden State Warriors Summer League team is ready to make its mark in Las Vegas after a split in the California Classic at Golden 1 Center. This week is an important opportunity for the rookies to get used to the professional level, for familiar faces to show their development and for the Summer League participants to prove their worth. With five games on the schedule, some interesting names and trends deserve our attention when the Warriors take the court. Unleashing Brandon Podziemski's Scoring Potential Brandon Podziemski, the 19th overall pick and rookie sensation out of Santa Clara, showed his scoring potential during Summer League. After some initial hesitation in his first game against the Kings, Podziemski quickly found his rhythm and showed his scoring potential. His standout performance in the fourth quarter, in which he scored 8 of his 12 points, impressed the crowd. Notable plays included a deft Eurostep that led to a layup and a crucial three-pointer, even though he wasn't really on the floor. In the following game against the Charlotte Hornets, Podziemski built on his offensive strength and continued to shine. He scored an impressive 17 points on 7 of 14 shooting from the field, including two three-pointers. As a 20-year-old guard, his ability to score efficiently and effectively is a good sign of his potential impact in the NBA. To continue to excel, Podziemski will need to focus on taking less difficult shots and gaining more confidence hitting open threes. His rebounding skills, which were outstanding during his college career with the Broncos, could also prove valuable at the professional level. In his final season, the 6'6 Podziemski averaged 8.8 .8 rebounds per game and proved his feel for the ball in summer league games, grabbing 6 rebounds on Monday and 4 on Wednesday. In addition to his scoring and rebounding abilities, Podziemski has also shown off his passing skills, especially in pick-and-roll situations. While he recorded six assists in the first game, he only managed one in the second. Defensively, Podziemski got off to a bit of a rough start in his debut, but he improved significantly against the Hornets. He disrupted passing lanes and collected five steals, showing his defensive potential. Overall, Podziemski's performance in Summer League will be a key indicator of whether he's ready for the NBA. As he continues to refine his scoring, rebounding, passing, and defensive skills, his potential impact on the professional stage will become increasingly interesting. Summer League offers him a platform to develop and prove himself, making it a crucial stage on his path to the NBA. Brandon Podziemski's Transition Game Brandon Podziemski's playing time as a rookie could be limited, especially considering his athletic limitations and the increased defensive challenges he'll face in the NBA. However, one aspect of his game that should translate well is his ability to push the tempo and create chances before the defense is in place. In the summer league opener against the Lakers, Podziemski demonstrated that ability. The Warriors veteran players, such as Stephen Curry, Chris Paul, Klay Thompson, and Draymond Green have excelled at getting their teams on offense through outlet passes and aggressive drives. Podziemski demonstrated a similar ability to push the pace, showing he fits the Warriors' preferred style of play. His ability to open up space and his defensive performance will ultimately determine his long-term prospects in the NBA. In the game against the Lakers, Podziemski was encouraging as a shooter, hitting three of eight attempts from beyond the arc. His defensive performance left something to be desired, however, as he struggled with the team's defensive concepts and displayed poor lateral quickness. It'll take time for Podziemski to develop into a reliable two-way player, but his aggressiveness and offensive potential make him an interesting candidate for the Warriors' future. The Potential Importance of Tracy Jackson Davis Unfortunately, Tracy Jackson Davis, the Warriors' 57th overall selection, was forced to rest for the games in Sacramento due to a right hamstring injury. Although the injury isn't considered serious, the team decided not to risk further complications by letting him play. Instead, it was announced Wednesday that the Warriors have agreed to terms with Jackson Davis on a four-year contract, further solidifying his place in the organization. When Jackson Davis returns to the court in Las Vegas, it'll be exciting to see how he adapts to the Warriors' fast-paced system. At 6'3", the big man from Indiana College brings size and potential to the team. His performance in Summer League could provide valuable insight into his development and readiness to contribute at the professional level. The two-way potential of Kendrick Davis and Javon Johnson Kendrick Davis and Javon Johnson, who both received Exhibit 10 contracts and training camp invitations, are two players to keep an eye on during Summer League. Davis, a 24-year-old point guard from the College of Memphis, was recommended by college teammate Lester Quinones, who values Davis as a player who can strike at a high tempo, make accurate passes, and pull to the basket. 
In the game against the Hornets, Davis showcased his skills by scoring 17 points on 6 of 11 attempts, including three three-pointers. He also contributed 5 rebounds and 4 assists, proving his versatility on the court. Johnson, a 6'6 forward from DePaul, is a good 3-point shooter. In 5 collegiate seasons, he has hit 37% of his points from beyond the arc and 41% on 6 attempts per game last season. Given the increasing importance of 3-point shots in the NBA, Johnson's skills make him an interesting prospect. His performance in summer league could determine whether he is what it takes to secure a spot with the Warriors or breakthrough as a two-way player. Warriors Summer League, first reactions to the opener in Las Vegas. The Golden State Warriors began their summer league campaign in Las Vegas with a 103-96 loss to the Los Angeles Lakers. Although the team started strong, they were unable to sustain their momentum, which led to this loss. Here are the three key takeaways from the Warriors opening game. Lester Quinones defensive performance. Lester Quinones has shown impressive development on the offensive end under the tutelage of Jordan Poole and the Warriors development staff. His offensive skills, including quick sidestep threes, deft pullback crossovers, and a natural feel for jump shots, resemble what the team wants. However, Quinones' defensive performances have been the highlight of his summer league appearances thus far. Against the Lakers, Quinones displayed disruptive perimeter defense, disrupting opponents with solid physical tools and a relentless attitude. His impact on the defensive end went beyond ball defense, as he deftly maneuvered through screens to launch effective attacks, disrupt dribbles, and stop shooters. One particular play that caught the crowd's attention was a no-look throw after a defensive stop that showcased Quinones' two-way skills. His defensive performances suggest he could be a valuable asset on the field during the regular season. Quinones' commitment on the defensive end combined with his offensive potential could bode well for him receiving a standard contract and securing a spot on the Warriors squad. Jonathan Santos, a second-year forward, still has a long way to go in his development before he can be considered for a spot on the Warriors squad. However, his offensive skills are promising, especially his ability to aggressively attack the basket. Santos has shown strength, patience, and finesse when pulling to the basket, often overpowering unsuspecting defenders with his strong build. Although listed at 209 pounds, Santos looks even heavier on the court, which helps his offensive style. Although his offensive skills alone won't secure him a role with the Golden State Warriors, if Santos can combine his driving skills with the necessary defensive abilities and become a reliable two-way player, he could contribute to the team at some point in his career. In conclusion, the Golden State Warriors Summer League in Las Vegas provides an exciting opportunity for rookies, familiar faces, and invited players to showcase their skills and make an impact. Brandon Podziemski's scoring threat, Tracy Jackson Davis' potential impact, and the performances of Kendrick Davis, Javin Johnson, Lester Quinones, and Jonathan Santos are all stories worth following during summer league games. These players have a chance to prove their worth and demonstrate their development as they try to secure a spot on the Warriors squad or breakthrough as two-way players. Summer League is an important stepping stone for these young talents on their path to the NBA. The Summer League is an important stepping stone for these young talents on their way to the NBA. If you're a die-hard Golden State Warriors fan like I'm, there's always something to talk about when it comes to this team. Be sure to visit the community page of our channel, where you'll find various quizzes and polls about the Golden State Warriors to test your knowledge. Also, check out our other videos on different aspects of the team.